Welcome to see next, and in this video we are counting down our picks for the top 10 best mind-blowing movies of all time. Number 10. Gone Girl. The film was released in the United States on October 3, 2014. Did you kill your wife, Nick? Gone Girl is a 2014 American thriller neo-noir film directed by David Fincher and with a screenplay by Gillian Flynn based on her 2012 novel of the same name. Set in Missouri the story is a postmodern mystery that follows the events surrounding Nick Dunn who becomes the prime suspect in the sudden disappearance of his wife Amy. As you all know, my wife, Amy Elliott Dunn, disappeared three days ago. I had nothing to do with the disappearance of my wife. I have nothing to hide. Number 9. Donnie Darko. It was released in the United States on October 26, 2001. I haven't seen stuff. Donnie is experiencing what is commonly called a daylight hallucination. <laughs> Donnie Darko is a 2001 American science fiction psychological thriller film directed by Richard Kelly. The film follows Donnie Darko a troubled teenager who narrowly escapes a bizarre accident and has visions of Frank, a mysterious figure in a rabbit costume who informs him that the world will end in 28 days. Frank begins to manipulate Donnie to commit several crimes. Okay, every living thing follows along a set path, and if you could see your path or channel, then you could see into the future, right? Number 8. The Sixth Sense. It was released in the United States on August 6, 1999. Please make them leave. I'm working on it. The Sixth Sense is a 1999 American supernatural psychological thriller film directed by M. Night Shyamalan. It stars Bruce Willis as a child psychologist whose patient can talk to the dead. Is anyone there? Number 7. Shutter Island. It was released in the United States on February 19, 2010. Pull yourself together, Teddy. Shutter Island is a 2010 American neo-noir psychological thriller film directed by Martin Scorsese. Based on Dennis Lehane's 2003 novel of the same name. Leonardo DiCaprio stars as Deputy U.S. Marshal Teddy Daniels who is investigating a psychiatric facility on Shutter Island after one of the patients goes missing. Who is 67? There are a total of, what, 66 patients at this facility? That is correct, yes. Number 6. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It was released on March 19, 2004. This is a hoax, right? I assure you, no. Is there any risk of brain damage? It's on a par with a night of heavy drinking. Nothing you'll miss. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is a 2004 American science fiction drama film directed by Michel Gondry. It follows an estranged couple who have erased each other from their memories. Can you hear me? I don't want this anymore! I want to call it off! Number 5. The Prestige. It was released in the United States on October 20th, 2006. Shoot me. Come on. No, I can't shoot. Do it! No. <laughs> How'd you like that? Well, how'd you do it? Magic. The Prestige is a 2006 psychological thriller film directed by Christopher Nolan. It follows Robert Angier and Alfred Borden, rival stage magicians in London at the end of the 19th century. Obsessed with creating the best stage illusion, they engage in competitive one-upmanship with fatal results. Real magic. I know what you really are! How does he do it? You want the truth. Nothing is impossible. Abracadabra. Number 4. Memento. The film was released in the United States on March 16, 2001. You don't know. Who you are. Memento is a 2000 American neo-noir psychological thriller film directed by Christopher Nolan. Guy Pearce stars as a man who as a result of an injury, has anterograde amnesia and has short-term memory loss approximately every 15 minutes. Somebody's gotta pay, Lenny. Somebody always pays. You have to be very careful. You wander around, playing detective. Maybe you should start investigating yourself. Number 3. Fight Club. The film was released in the United States on October 15, 1999. Fight Club is a 1999 American film directed by David Fincher. 
It is based on the 1996 novel of the same name by Chuck Palahniuk. Welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is... Wow, nice. You do not talk about Fight Club. Is that your blood? Some of it, yeah. After Fight Club, we all started seeing things differently. You're gonna have to keep me up all night. Number 2. Interstellar. It was released in the United States on November 5th, 2014. It's an Indian surveillance drone. Solar cells power an entire farm. What'd you do, Murph? Uh, she didn't do nothing. Murphy's Law. Interstellar is a 2014 British-American epic science fiction film directed by Christopher Nolan. Set in a dystopian future where humanity is struggling to survive, the film follows a group of astronauts who travel through a wormhole near Saturn in search of a new home for mankind. You're a well-educated man, Coop, and a trained pilot. And an engineer. The world doesn't need any more engineers. We didn't run out of planes and television sets. We ran out of food. Before going to number one, here are some honorable mentions. And don't forget to subscribe the channel. It is good to have a beautiful mind, but an even greater gift is to discover a beautiful heart. <laughs> Why does this feel worse? This reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. Number 1. Inception. The film was released on July 16, 2010. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. Inception is a 2010 science fiction action film directed by Christopher Nolan. The film stars Leonardo DiCaprio as a professional thief who steals information by infiltrating the subconscious of his targets. He is offered a chance to have his criminal history erased as payment for the implantation of another person's idea into a target's subconscious. I have it under control. 